And from Parkland, Florida tonight, news of an emergency meeting about the lingering effects of the massacre at their high school. We reported here about the young graduate who took her own life. Her family says she had survivor's guilt. Tonight, news of a second student, now an apparent suicide as well. And from Connecticut tonight, the father of a six-year-old who was killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School has apparently taken his life, too. Here's ABC's Victor Kendo. Tonight, the grief-stricken father of a child killed in the Sandy Hook massacre apparently taking his own life. Flowers at the front door of the Newtown, Connecticut Town Hall, where 49-year-old Jeremy Richmond had an office. His body found there Monday morning. Just last week, Richmond was in Florida, speaking at an anti-violence summit not far from Parkland, where two survivors of the shooting there apparently committed suicide within days of each other. Police say one student was found dead Saturday, less than a week after 19-year-old former student Sydney Aiello killed herself. Aiello's mother says her daughter struggled with survivor's guilt and PTSD. Listen to your teachers and listen to your parents. Counselors and community leaders led an emergency meeting Sunday. The mayor saying while there was concern the two suicides could lead to more, it is more dangerous not to discuss what happened. We just have to keep, just keep talking to each other and really come together as a community. David, the memorial outside Stoneman Douglas continues to grow after what's been a devastating few days. There's another community meeting later this week. They're doing what they can to reach the students, but that's been difficult with the school on spring break. David, those meetings so important, Victor, our thanks to you. And it's also important to remind everyone at home that there is help out there. The Suicide Prevention Lifeline on your screen, 1-800-273-8255. And counselors are always there to help. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.